Um, my name is Mitch Karina Ratna. Um, I originally was born and brought up on Canvey Island. Um, I've now moved and live in East London, but the majority of my photography work um, really explores places that I know really, really well. So the, one, the main body of work on show here is called After London, and it's all based around two or three streets that I lived in when I lived on Canvey Island. Um, when we lived on the island, um, we lived very close to two of my other family members um, and lots of the photographs are um, the journeys that I've taken between myself and my uncle's house, my journey I took from to my, my home to school, where we had our hair cut, what things we did on Saturdays, when we went to, to buy candy floss and we down on the seafront. They're all places now as an adult that I've come back to um, and really looked at through my adult's eyes to kind of really think about actually what was it like and what do I remember by going back and revisiting um, these places that have been really, really important to me. Um, I chose the title After London um, for two reasons really. Um, firstly, it kind of, I think it described um, my family's journey from the east end of London out to Canvey um, to raise their children um, and want a different kind of life on the island than they had in East London. Um, but it also was a title of a book that I read by um, Richard Jeffries, which was written in the 19th century. But it was a post um, uh, book around there being a mass catastrophe on the planet, um, which led to the whole planet being depopulated and nature taking over. Um, and Canvey's kind of relationship with the sea and the fact it's sinking and the water is gradually taking over um, really reminded me of um, Canvey. I've tried in the photographs not to make a huge comment on that at the moment. Um, I've tried not to come back and feel nostalgic um, and feel um, that things were never as good as they were in the past. Um, my brother, who's um, a little bit older than me, he actually came back to the island and ended up buying the house next door to the house we grew up in. And he's now raising his children in the house next door to our house. Um, so it's, I've got a strange relationship with the island. And it's a, a sort of a semi-detached house. So his house, everything is the opposite way around to the house that we grew up in. Um, so every time I open a door, I expect it to be on the other, other way around. I think it's a bit like that coming back to the island. Everything's not quite how I remember it. Everything's sort of shifted slightly. Um, but I do have very, very fond memories of growing up on the island. I, I really, and I've seen from coming back as an adult, how that real entrepreneurial spirit of um, not really abiding by rules and expectations of what people think of us, but actually doing it our own way, has really survived on the island. Um, and things are not as neat and tidy and laid out as they might be in a more formal town or city. Um, can be people just kind of add on and build on and decide how they want to do things. Um, and I really like that spirit. Um, I think that's one of the things I've seen and loved from coming back.